So I went and saw Tusk last night. This review is going to be rather hard. Tusk is written and directed by Kevin Smith and stars Justin Long, Michael Parks, and Haley Joel Osment. And this is the first movie out of um, Kevin Smith's new Canadian trilogy. And this is about a podcaster named Wallace, played by Justin Long, and he travels to Canada. He lives in Los Angeles, and he's working on this podcast, and he just tries to bring these weird stories into his podcast called Nazi Party. Uh, Nazi, N-O-T-S-E-E, -E, not the Nazi like Hitler, as he says in the movie. But this trip goes, he goes to Canada for this trip, and he's trying to get some in stories to bring back to Los Angeles. And he comes across this guy who has many stories to tell about his travels at sea. Uh, he's intrigued by this, so he goes to this guy's house. And this guy, um wants to turn Justin Long into a walrus. This is kind of like along the lines of Human Centipede, uh, a crazy guy trying to turn people into animals or creatures or something. And I was very intrigued by this movie because I like Kevin Smith. Uh, his movies are great. I like it when he writes and directs a movie, puts a lot of passion into it, and a lot, gives, it a, gives it his all. And the one thing I was curious about is how are they going to make Justin Long look like a walrus? That was my main um, motion. Uh, that was my main motivation to go see this movie. I was going to see it anyways, but I was just sitting there like, what is it going to look like when this crazy man turns Justin Long into a walrus? Because they are going to show it, and it's going to be crazy looking. So. This movie is about an hour and 40 minutes long, and I thought like the first 20, 25 minutes were actually really great. Did a great job of mixing comedy from Justin Long and Haley Joel Osment and their characters. Kind of, he's kind of like a dick character, and it's funny about it. And also when he meets this guy, um, Howard Howell, played by Michael Parks, they did a great job of also having this creepy, disturbing character. He did a great job of telling his stories. You know what was coming becoming of it, and when he talks about the walrus, you know things are starting to go down, and his um, his motivation of why he wants to turn this guy into a walrus. I'm not going to explain it to you guys. I don't want to spoil anything, but um, when he starts explaining about the walrus and everything, it just gets very creepy and dark and disturbing. And Kevin Smith does a great job of handling that. There was just a couple times in the film where the tone for the movie completely changed and when they showed Justin Long as a walrus, I couldn't help but scratch my head and I was like, what the hell is this? Oh my god. It's a thing that you have to see to believe. And the suit is very disturbing, it's creepy looking, but yet you laugh at it the first time you see it. And the thing about it is, it's serious. This is a story that Kevin Smith came up with on his podcast, and he wanted to turn it into a film. And you kind of elaborate on that talk he had on his podcast, and uh, you know it can take a it's a it's a comedy horror film, but more more horror. And then uh, they introduce this, the the walrus, and you just laugh. But the character um, Howard Howe, played by Michael Parks. Is still very disturbing about it. He's crazy, he's psychotic, he's weird, and does a great job. I like the actor that uh, was for him, uh, did a great job. Justin Long did a great job too. And then there's another part in the movie that the tone just completely went off and it was just a straight up comedy. And I just lost interest in it at that point. Um, character, an actor I didn't think was going to be in the film, uh, not going to spoil that for anybody, but a big name actor is in this film. Uh, for a little bit at the end and how he portrays his character, this French kind of guy, um, just wasn't great at all. Uh, great actor, but just the character was very dumb, kind of went on with the things that he was saying. And the ending was rather dumb and uh, could have been handled a little bit differently. But other than that, I thought that Tusk was a very interesting film, interesting story, something that you has to see 
you have to see to believe. And I really just wanted to see how they were going to handle Justin Long as a walrus. Um, but they definitely had some creepy and disturbing moments in the film. Um, so this is probably one of the most disturbing, weirdest films I've ever seen in my life. And I'm glad it got a bigger release than I thought it was going to. Uh, I saw it at a Regal Theaters. I'm not sure if like AMC chains are going to see it or have it in their theater. I'm not sure about other uh, big movie companies, but Regal did have it. Uh, so definitely check out Tusk. It's, it's not a bad film. It's not the greatest film. It's just a more of an interesting film that I had to see. And um, now I really want to watch Human Centipede because I've never seen that. But giving it a rating, I'm going to have to go a C plus. Um, some tones definitely changed uh, throughout the film that I just kind of wish that they kept this kind of creepy and dark f film. And they kind of just went off into this little bit of comedy slapstick humor at the end. Um, so that's all in my main concern for this film. So this is Justin Watching Movies with his review of Tusk. Yes, uh, once again, the story is about a crazy old man in a wheelchair trying to turn a young Justin Long into a walrus. The whole walrus. Walrus with tusks and hair and fins and everything that a walrus is. Go see it.